favorite word is probably como criollo. It's like got an imprint of the place where it's from, but it comes from somewhere else, you know? So it's not like 100% authentic, but it's our version of a something. So I'm kind of like a director slash producer. I kind of just help move things along and make people connect. And I'm because I grew up in New York and you know I've, I've got all these other perspectives. I can see things differently. I can see you know opportunities and I see a lot of potential. And I see I can tell what people are doing. And I think that's what people like. Ego for sure, like trying to keep my ego out of it and like keep myself in check. It's tough producing just because, you know, somebody's got to do it, but somebody's got to do it right. Like you also just can't do it for the sake of doing it or, you know, you have to be very transparent. You're messing with people's art, you know, you're messing with their name, you're messing, you know, how you represent them. It's all, it all gets very personal and it's, it's, it's difficult. All these decisions become political ones, like, you know, and who you're, giving, you know, importance to is like, you know, you have to be very conscious of that. If you work with an artist, you're kind of taking responsibility for their message, you know, and you're being a platform for that message and you need to be conscious of what the message is. Now, coming from New York, it's way more cutthroat, you know, it's maybe not as friendly, it's not as open, there's a different rhythm. And here I feel like there's more playfulness, uh, you know, you can explore more, there's more experimentation, there's a, uh, you know, there's definitely way more room to, to explore and have fun in, like, the, you know, competing so much. It was never like, you're gonna be an artist, or that's something you could do. Like, even when I heard about liberal arts college and stuff like that, I was like, what? Like, there's a place where you just go and you can, like, study to be, like, you know, an artist and stuff like that? Necessity, absolutely. No, necessity is totally like, and that's like a big driving force. Like, I think that's, you know, a lot of what, a lot of what I do is necessity, is out of necessity. What, what was so beautiful about working DIY is that, you know, there is a different level of commitment and a different level of what you get out of it, but it's not monetary. I don't know, definitely like my mom or something like that, like just genetic. Like I think it's very like just ingrained for me from like very young that like she's by far like my biggest fan and like my biggest supporter and you know, definitely not somebody that's like super into the arts and stuff like that. But uh, definitely somebody that's always been there for me and, you know, just, yeah, definitely.